Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the solidify modifier. So let's go ahead and duplicate our original flexible design here. So we'll just right click and do duplicate collection and let's rename this solidify. So this one will be Suzanne.solidify and we can just pull that monkey to the front. So just G and Y. There we go. And now we can hit period to zoom into that. And for this one, the solidify modifier is very helpful if you're doing a, like resin printing. So we can go to our modifier stack here, go to our drop down and use solidify. There's many reasons to use this, but I just want to show you a few today. So solidify. And if we go into see through mode, and it's saying X ray is not available in see through in uh, EV mode. So if we switch to a different, maybe just material preview try and go into see-through mode. It's still not doing it. There we go. If we go into solid view, uh, we can actually see our see-through mode here. And if we crank up the solidify, you can see something's happening on the inside of our design here. It's kind of like making, it's kind of hollowing it out. It's like making it a shell. So if we wanted the shell of our design um, to be you know, 1.5 millimeters, Boom, there we go. We can just type that in as long as your scale ratio is set to one. And we are getting some interesting um, kind of geometry going on right here. Let's turn this off. Uh, it still looks pretty good. You can see something's happening right there. It's kind of cutting through. So maybe let's just make the thickness one. There we go. And it looks like we're getting some clipping on our box here too. So in that case, we can try and rearrange our modifiers. Just drag that up. And there we go. So that's that's very cool. Um, this is making essentially like a hollow Suzanne for us. Uh, you could do that for your, you know, if you wanted to make like her into a lamp or a um, something like a planter, or if you wanted to make like a big mask or uh, just wanted to hollow something out. You know, if you didn't want this, you could just turn off your bull tool cube. And now you have like a essentially almost like an Easter bunny of Suzanne's head that you could print with resin or with FTM printer. And it would just have kind of like a hollow inner body um, happening. So very powerful, very cool. And it's not showing my bull in here. So I'm just going to move that around a little bit. There we go. So right here, you can kind of see it's kind of doing some weird artifacting here. I'm also in the alpha, but sometimes you may have to, you know, maybe just hold shift and let Blender kind of figure out the math of uh, what you're trying to do there. So that you can see it closed everything off, uh, but left a little hole there. So we can do G and Z, bring our box down even more. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, just got a little bitty dot right there, but that's okay. We've got a hollow Suzanne here, which is very helpful sometimes. And so let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson.